Hey developers, Marco Arruda here. Today I'm starting this new series which is about exploring ROS2 using a wheeled robot. In this first chapter we're gonna have our first ROS2 simulation running in just a few minutes. So let's start. As usual we're gonna use the features provided by the construct. So we are working in this new app here that merges everything from the Academy and ROSDS. So I have just created a new project and it's an empty one you can create there. Just come here, create Rojag, select the distro. We are working with the very latest version of ROS2, which is ROS2 Foxy. And you just create a new Rojag here if you want to follow all the instructions. But if you need also, you can just copy my Rojag using the link in the description below. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna open my uh, empty Rojag here. Wait, so in a few seconds until the environment gets ready. And here we have the public repository of the robot we're going to use, Dolly Robot, uh, created by Chapulina from OSRF. I'm going to clone here, so just copy the clone address. And first thing, let's get into our web shells. I'm going to close the notebooks. Put it a little bigger. And the main difference here from ROS1 to ROS2 is that we're going to have a new workspace, the ROS2 workspace, so just get into it. And it's quite similar to ROS1, but of course has a slightly difference in the architecture, the organization of the folders and some of the commands, of course. So let's get into the source folder. And it's empty, so I'm going to start cloning the package. So git clone and paste the package that we have copied there. And finally, uh, we can start compiling this package because we want to make sure everything is uh, according to what we expect to have. Okay. So in order to compile, I, I, I'm going to get one folder up. And we need to source also the libraries of ROS2 because we have uh, by default, the melodic version, which is the latest version of ROS1 set up here in this computer. So you have to do it like this source opt ROS foxy, which is the name of the distro working, and setup.bash. Okay, so, and we're gonna receive this message here that the latest version actually, uh, I said melodic, but it was nomadic. And now we are changing distributions and changing to Foxy, okay? Everything is fine, it's just a warning message. So you are aware of the commands you have available there. And then let's start with the first compilation command. And it goes like this, call from build. And I need to consider the links. And in this case, the simulation, uh, it's a very nice simulation and there are two possibilities of simulators you can use for the ship robot, the dolly robot. Uh, you can work using Gazebo or Ignition. In this case, we're gonna use Gazebo 11, which comes with ROS2 Foxy, and we have to ignore Ignition. Otherwise, we're gonna have many compilation problems saying that we don't have the required dependencies and this kind of message, but it's fine, so you can just remove the folder because we have cloned the entire repo here or you can use also a different command here in this case I'm gonna use packages ignore and I'm gonna say that I want to ignore the dolly ignition package okay which is one of the folders inside the dolly folder so just press enter cross your fingers let's wait and see if it compiles fine in the meantime I'm gonna open the editor so you can check the the organization of the folders. So a few seconds. Okay, there it is. And we are inside the ROS2 workspace folder, source folder, dolly. Okay, there it is. And then we have uh, the full folder, which uh, contains the same, which uh, has the same name of the main one. Then we have dolly follow, dolly gazebo, which is the simulation we're gonna use, and dolly ignition, the one that we want to ignore, for instance. Okay. And now, uh, in order to launch the simulation, let's create our own launch file so we can start going through how the new concepts of ROS2 in order to have our first simulation running. 
So first thing is that I, I want to create my own package here. So I am inside the source folder and we already have the Dolly package set up, but I'm gonna create my own in this case, which goes like this, ROS2 package, create my package, I'm gonna call it. And the build type, the build type for this package is gonna be aim and C make. Uh, personally, I don't know if there is another, or we should if we should consider another build type. So in this case, let's just keep using the default one. And the dependencies and then sys uh, are gonna be just one actually, which is the RCLCPP, which is more or less like the ROS CPP we we use to work with in ROS one, but in ROS2 we have this ROS, I think it's called ROS Common Libraries for C++, something like this. Okay. Then I'm creating this new package, everything went fine. Then we have our new package. Then let's create our new launch file. So in this case uh, for ROS2, it's quite different. We have uh, the launch files are not creating using the XML-like notation, but they are Python files. Okay, uh, then we just have to create a new folder here because it doesn't come with a, a launch folder. And inside this launch folder, I'm gonna call it the file uh, dolly.launch.py because it comes from Python. I'm gonna copy and paste the content here and let's explain why by line, so what we are doing. Okay, so here we are importing some of the dependencies we need to, to use. So OS, OS dependencies, for example, and some others from ROS, from the compiler, from launch. And let's see how we're gonna use them. So first thing we're gonna define this main method here, generate launch description, which is very important. And it has to return a launch description. So this launch description is composed by one included file, which is actually a launch file that is already created in somewhere else. In this case, we are looking for the package Gazebo ROS that comes from the ROS installation. And then we're, we're also using the Dolly Gazebo package here, okay? And in this case, we're using the Gazebo default launcher and passing the Dolly world as a parameter. So we have to, we are including this one and we are declaring the argument because it needs to be passed the world argument. So we're defining it here. So our launch file also handle this kind of argument, but we're also setting the default name, which is the world that is contained inside the Dolly gazebo package. Okay, so in this case, we don't have to pass any arguments when you call this launch file because the, the full value for the arguments is already set up. So with the launch file already created, we have also to do something else in the CMake list because this is something new from the from the ROS2 because we we didn't have to set up launch files in ROS1, but in this case we have to do. And how does it go? So you just need to to tell the CMake folder this make this file. Uh, we're gonna include, we're gonna install this new folder, which is the launch folder, it's a directory, and the destination it goes to the share folder of the installation, which is something internal of the completer. Okay, so let's just save it. In this case, uh, I just added a few lines here, and now we should be good to go. So let's try to compile our folder. Uh, I'm gonna get back to my terminals. Let's put the ID to the right side. And here. Okay. And here we have our new folder, my package. I'm gonna go one folder up and execute a very similar command to compile. But in this case, I want to compile uh, my workspace. Uh, in the previous command we have compiled except for one package, 
this time we're going to compile just one package. So we have to specify uh, in a different way. So we got, it goes like this, call com build, uh, so install. Then I, I want to, to compile just one package. So it doesn't have to compile everything that I already have in my workspace. In this case, just compile the packages that I select here. And in this case, the name of the package is just my underscore package. Let's try it, cross, cross your fingers. Let's see if everything goes fine. Okay, there it is. So it says like, it seems like our package is already compiled, everything went fine. And in order to try the launch file we have just created, we have to source it again. So instead of sourcing devil setup file, we have to source the install setup dot bash file. Okay, so just source it like this. It says that uh, we are changing distros again and so on, but it's it's not so important, just going from Foxy to Fox again. Okay, and now we want to launch. And how do we launch the simulation here? Ross2 launch my package simulation dot launch dot by. Okay, so let's try to launch the simulation. And it seems that we, we have something missing here. In this case, file simulation launch was not found. Okay, of course, because I, I named the file differently. It's not called simulation.launch file, but dolly. Okay, I have some music playing in my headphones. I don't know where it comes from. Ross to launch my package. And there it is, we have some some process running and it says that we have some wheels and some topics, everything's fine. Okay, great, so let's check the simulation. Uh, just before we check the simulation, we have already noticed we are using many, many different things from ROS1. This is because we're working with ROS2. So far so good, I think if you're just following the instructions, everything should went fine for you. But if you're getting concerned that there are many commands different from ROS1, which happened to me also, I highly recommend you that you go to one of the courses because we have here uh, a very nice course, which is where I have learned ROS2 also, which is the ROS2 basics for C++ in five days. So it follows the same structures of the previous successful courses like ROS basics in five days, ROS navigation in five days and so on but it's time for ROS2 basics for C++ in five days, which is the case uh, we are going to use in the next chapters of this series, okay? So I think it's it's very important that you understand the basic concepts like uh, the commands, the command lines, and the structures of launch files and so on. We're going to uh, go through how these concepts in the series, but the basics, it's very important that they come with you, at least the, the basic stuff of Frost okay? Uh, okay, great, so back to the simulation. Now I, I must have the simulation running fine. Let's open Gazebo in order to check. You have this icon here, Gazebo, you can select simulation, but in this case, we already have our simulation running, so just open Gazebo. Let's drag the window uh, to the right side. Wait a few seconds until the Gazebo client detects the simulation, and there it is. This is our robot. Uh, you may not uh, slightly difference in the meshes of the robot. Uh, it's just the visual, okay? Everything in the robot is working fine, but the visual part is not uh, similar to the one you're gonna check in the in the official repo. And okay, so let's check if we have some stuff the robot running. In this case. Uh, the first thing I want to check is that the robot can move. So I'm going to try one of the topics. Let's check them first. So Rust, Rust 2 topic list. Okay, I don't have Rust 2 command available. This is because I haven't sourced it, so I have to source it again. OPT Rust, Foxy, setup.bash, then Rust 2 topic list. There they are. So we have clock, dolly, command velocity, which is the one I'm interested in. So let's try to move the robot in this case. I'm gonna do it like this. So Ross2 topic, pub, dolly, CMD velocity. 
and the type of the kind of messages geometry messages message twist and I need to set the values here so the linear part is going to be like uh, only on the x axis so let's put it 0 0.2 then for the angular part in this z-axis let's try 0 0.3 and press enter let's see if the robot moves okay i have typed something wrong here i think it's a typo in my comments so we have linear i think i have to remove some of the spaces that I put before. This is the X value. Let me try like this. And there it is, publisher, beginning loop. And we have the command being published to the robot. Great, so our first topic is working properly. Now, uh, I stopped at the publish, but the robot's following the latest message that arrived to the simulation. Now let's check, for example, our laser scan, if we have some of the messages there. So Rust shoot topic, echo, dolly, and we have the laser scan here. Okay, so in this case, it's gonna be a quite boring because we don't have any obstacles here around the robot. I'm gonna try to put some boxes, for example, and we have the robot moving there. Uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite fast, of course, we are not working with the visualizing tools yet, but you can go through how the, the shell and you're going to see some of the values, so we can say that the simulation is working, and we have the command velocity being followed by the robot, and also the laser scan publishing some of the reading values, okay? Uh, great, so for this chapter, that's it, we have set up the simulation, it's working fine, and remember, if you have any doubts, you can always clone the project using the link here I share in the description. And also, <clears throat> if you like this kind of video, leave a like, leave a comment, and let us know of what you think about this video, of, about this series, what can be improved, and how we're going to proceed in the next chapters. See you. Bye.